So in the word, by the word, and consistently with the word, and guiding the thinking and inclining the mind of the believer. This is the work of the Holy Spirit. But in opposition to it is the working of the mind of man in subjection to the flesh. But now tonight we are to consider particularly the danger from the devil himself. And just as folks in yesteryear, uh, whom many now have gone to be with the Lord and uh, with him in glory, had difficulty understanding how that human mind, that something was wrong with the human mind, how could that ever be, as we illustrate this morning. So they found it also difficult to understand how the devil can get ideas into the mind of a Christian. There's a verse of scripture that I'd like to have you think about. It's found in the, in the Gospel of John chapter 8 verse 44 where Jesus speaks of the devil and he says he is a liar from the beginning. He is a liar from the beginning and the father of it. We have to understand that all that the devil does is to bring about deceit. And he is a very clever counterfeiter. And he has a way of him getting into the mind, impressing the mind. We are not told specifically the mechanics here. But the devil, who is a liar now, whatever he can get into your mind, remember it's a liar that's doing it. Whatever he can get you to think about, remember it's a deceiver who's doing it. Whatever he can get into your thought processes and conclusions, remember where it comes from, that it's the enemy of our souls and the adversary of our blessed Lord. Satan is a liar and the father of it. And he has a way of getting a message into a disciple of the Lord Jesus. And the disciple doesn't realize the source. Where did it come from? You will remember on one occasion when a lady came and broke the alabaster box to anoint the Lord Jesus Christ and thus symbolizing her poured out love to him for what he had done for her. Do you remember that disciples began to say, what a waste, what a waste, what a waste. Why, that could have been sold. And the money could have been used to give to the poor. There's a certain amount of logic there. And certainly there is reasoning there. And they were all saying it. Where did the idea come from? Why the record seems to show that Judas was the first one to say it. And then others picked it up. Where did he get it from? Why he was already a puppet. To the devil himself. Well, am I right? And that's where the idea came from to say that. And thus, on the one hand, rebuked the woman for wasting what was precious. And on the other hand, rebuked Jesus himself for receiving it. I think if we're going to have a, a title to this uh, a summary, we'd might, might call it who said it <laughs> or where did the idea come from you remember when we began our study how we read of how the devil how the devil caused a king in Israel David to order a census for all of Israel tribe by tribe and it took over nine months to follow through on it and it never occurred to David who the real adversary was in that case. But it seemed like a good idea. It seemed like a fine idea to take a census, to find out just where the military strength is and how many men could be called together in an emergency out of the present militia or added to the armies if the need should be. It seemed a very practical thing to do. And certainly, it would help. It would help to estimate the budget uh, to how 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 you could uh, 
uh, have a taxation and, and somehow determine uh, the amount of money that could come in. Oh, there's so many, many good reasons for the census, but it was not God's will. But the point is that David, the sweet singer of Israel, man who had an understanding of God superior to so many of his contemporaries, he fell. He fell for it. He didn't ask, where did that idea come from? And though a trusted a general uh, uh, spoke to him about it and rebuked him about it and said, you mustn't do this. You mustn't do this. Yet, he was determined to carry it out. And you know the awful uh, results. The point is, that the devil can get an idea into a believer. And that idea will seem logical, it'll seem reasonable, it may seem most advantageous. 